Hi everyone, welcome to Rike Sports. I'm delighted to have on with me the CEO of Udemus online cricket coaching platform, Madden Ayu. Hi, Amit. I'm really pleased to be here with you on this, uh, this call. Uh, I'm doing really good across uh, the channel in Amsterdam. Thanks so much for coming on. Really great to have you on. So I know you've recently launched this amazing platform for cricket coaching and it's an app. If you'd like to tell my viewers a little bit more about how it works. Please. Yeah, definitely. So uh, Ludimus is an online cricket coaching platform that we have developed for uh, cricketers all across the globe. We think that cricket as a sport is underserved in terms of technology. It lacks a lot of um, features in one central platform. So Ludimus is all about assisting coaches, players, or any cricket stakeholders to use a simple online platform to structure and streamline their coaching activities. It contains uh, tools like video analysis tools, uh, drawing tools, uh, notes, and drills, master classes, and also has Ludimus AI, which automatically uh, analyzes videos and derives insights from it, which assists coaches in identifying uh, key areas of improvement in a faster and a smarter manner. It's really amazing. So uh, when I heard about this product, I was really happy as a coach myself, you know, and speaking to other coaches, it's really useful for us. You know, a lot of the way the old fashioned way of using pen and papers, using video cameras for the USBs, but this, you have everything on one app, which is amazing. And I know you've got a demonstration you can show us as well. So please take us through that. Yeah, definitely. So uh, before uh, jumping to the demonstration, I'll just set up some context for uh, the, the problems that cricketers, coaches and players kind of face right now. And uh, based on that particular context, I'll share the screen and talk you or walk you through how Ludimus helps to overcome these difficulties. So the first difficulty as a player myself I experienced is that all my data about my training and development is spread across multiple devices and multiple channels. So what I mean by that is for drills, I go log into YouTube and I observe all the drills. And to uh, track my progress, I use a pen and paper or notes in my phone or a laptop to, to record what's happening. And my videos of my sessions are recorded and stored in either uh, Google Drive or One, uh, OneDrive or uh, Dropbox, right? So if you, if you think about it, these are all related to your uh, development program, your development timeline. And when things are scattered in such a manner, it's always hard for you to access and understand which correlates with what and what's, what's happening in your uh, journey. And also when you talk about coaching itself as a coach you are coaching one to n number of players and if the data is segregated and and, and it's dispersed in multiple channels it makes your life as a coach really hard to identify where is what and how do you make sense of that information uh, moving forward and assisting the players this is like key the second problem is that uh, the uh, the the videos contain information about how a player is progressing. Every time you train, there is some sort of recording it just using your smartphone. And that data is really crucial in assisting and finding key areas of uh, improvement quite faster so that one can uh, start working towards a personalized plan, which will help them to improve their skills in a, in a smarter way, right? What's happening right now is because coaches, uh, they know that if they record a five minute video, they have to spend five minutes watching the video or more to provide an, an, provide an analysis, right? This is time consuming. And what's happening is that coaches are still uh, in the reactive coaching phase. And what I mean by reactive coaching is you have to first observe a mistake in order to assist with a, uh, with a drill or with some uh, help, right? So for that, the key thing is you have to observe that there is a mistake that's happening. Uh, what happens is because we have, a, if you just view everything with a natural eye, then it's 12 frames per second, which means that you can't observe details at a minute level. So you rely on video recording, but then because you're spending so much time, you're restricting yourself to record only things that you want to record, which means you are also restricting yourself from watching more data points. So what we have done is that we have used artificial intelligence, which automatically looks at videos and it highlights only key actions 
that are relevant for coaching so that they save time and they see more data points so that they can be a better and effective coach to their players. And the third point is connectivity, which is uh, you may be a really good player, but if you don't have a, a good fit between you and your coach, you really won't be improving at a much faster rate. So the coach and a player fit is quite crucial. Oftentimes, player get uh, appointed a coach from the club, and these coaches get switched every every season or every couple of years, which means that there is no consistency in, in which, with which coach you train and develop, right? So what we do is as a platform, we offer you the possibility of remote coaching where just by recording videos of yourself and, and connecting with a coach from a remote uh, country or remote location, they'll be able to guide you step-by-step step on where you can improve and how you can improve. So these are the three key things. Uh, using multiple tools, which is bad, uh, proactive coaching versus reactive coaching, which is more data points. And the third thing is connectivity through, uh, through an online platform so that you have consistent coaching across um, your journey. So keep, it, keep in mind uh, this information and I'm going to uh, share my screen and walk you through the product and show you how it looks like. Right, so uh, Ludimus platform is available to be accessed through web application and also through mobile apps from App Store and uh, Apple uh, App Store. Now, in the web application, I logged in now as a coach and an administrator. So what you would notice here is that it's a really neat, simple and familiar UI that you are already used to from LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram, where you have a feed of videos that shows which player trained on what date and what video is that. Is it a batting video and a bowling video? So you can just quickly play through these videos of different sessions and you could just, you know, quickly skim through a lot of things uh, from it. And I'm going here, there's a bowling video of a young kid that's, uh, that's trying to, um, well, that's spinning a ball from his uh, backyard. So as shown here, you don't have to be at, um, at indoor nets or at a specific location to record your videos. You can do fitness drills, you can do your strength and conditioning, you can do wicket keeping and fielding at your, at your, in your house or behind your house. You can just simply record using your smartphone and just upload it because this is, your development and all these activities constitute your development journey. You can just do this endless speed of videos. Again, you can think of this as a community aspect as well, where you are teammates and you are just uploading videos and you're trying to be in touch with your teammates and see what others are up to, what sort of training they're doing, what sort of feedback they are getting from the coaches, right? So it's like an endless feed of videos from your cricketing community. On the left, you see a lot of uh, teams, as we call them. The teams are digital representation of uh, physical teams. As you can see here, there's an under-19 team, uh, which is public. The under-19, one-to-one, which is a private high-performance um, uh, team, which is also private, meaning that it's aimed at only player-coach communication for a specific uh, skill development where others cannot have access to your data. Public, as the name suggests, everyone in the group can see whatever the video that's in there. So it's simple. It's, uh, it's easy to use. And as you can, when you're scrolling through these videos, you will notice a couple of things on, for example, let's take this video, right? So uh, this video was uploaded three months ago. It has nine feedback and seven drills. What we are showing to a player is when they upload a video, when a coach analyzes and offers feedback and notes, then that's what you see here. Immediately a player knows, well, I have got something back from my coach. I have also got seven drills that was recommended by my coach from this one video alone. Uh, what I'm going to do here is that uh, I'm just going to play the video. And once you are playing, then I can also go into the analysis mode where it, it's one step further where you take one video and then you can analyze them frame by frame. The key thing is the proactive and reactive coaching that I talked about. So first, if I upload this video or share this video with any coach, then the coach has to watch two minutes to understand what's happening. Without the assistance of any AI or any algorithms, a person cannot identify or cannot predict how many shots are there in this two minute video. And he also, or he or she does not also know where these shots are located. Because they can't do it, they usually skim through it, which means they will miss, again, key actions from the videos themselves. If you look at the, uh, look at here, 
our AI algorithms predicted that there are 11 shots in this video of two minutes. And we use markers like these on the timeline to localize where a certain action happens. So if just as a normal scenario, I'm playing the video now, you would see that for the first 10 seconds or so, nothing happens, but you have, or you are spending time watching these frames, which are meaningless for both the player and the coach. So if you're wasting the first 10 seconds watching nothing, then imagine how much of time you're wasting by watching all the noisy frames in between. Now, if we turn this around, I'm gonna go back to the start of the video again. I'm gonna turn skip pauses on. You play the video, you see that you see a shot right away. And then we skip all the pause or the noise in between the shot and then the next shot. So every three seconds, you see a shot played back to back. So what this means is the first 10 seconds you watched zero shots, but now with the AI assistance, you watch four to five shots. So that's the power of Ludimus. You watch four to five X more data points about a player in a given time span which means you have higher chance of identifying the mistakes uh, sooner, which means you have a higher chance of correcting it and personalizing and helping the player quite faster. So let's go into the analysis, right? So yes, you identified something that's happening wrong. For example, here, this shot, I wanna do a much closer analysis. So you could use the frame by frame uh, movements to rock and roll one frame before and after, and then you pause on a frame where you think you have to uh, let the player know something. So this is the frame, I click add feedback, that opens up the analysis of a particular frame where you have uh, multiple tools to explain to the player what you are observing. And this observation can be done through drawing. For example, I'm just, I have uh, uh, drawing tools with different colors, different shapes. You could simply draw lines on the, on the, on the canvas. Uh, you can annotate with multiple uh, shapes. So once you have drawn something, you have two options to explain what these drawings mean. The first simple option is through your own voice and speaking directly to the player himself through an audio where you can just offer a live audio commentary saying that, hey, in this case, uh, your head, your body weight is moving to the right and you should have a stable uh, base while playing the shot, you know, as an example. Or the other option is you could simply type in your thoughts, which is basically your head is not in a position while playing the shot. So this is what, these are two options to let the player know what's happening. And the next thing you will think of is, well, I spot this mistake or something that I would like to work on. How can I work and improve on this? So that's where the drills comes into play. So what you can do is you can also add a drill and the drills are just step-by-step -step instructions which assist a player in how to do or how to train some specific things. So in this case, I want this person to do like a stationary drive drill. I would like him to do this like 30 times whenever he can and I hit send. And this information, which is a key part of a player development journey is now happening verbally. So when a coach observes something, they exchange verbal communication of what's right and what's wrong. And what happens is in a, in a span of days or weeks, this information is forgotten by both the player and the coach, which means that they have to do it all over again until it sticks in your, in your memory and it sticks in your uh, game style. So, so once now this happens, what you can see is on the right, I show you there are 10 feedback and I'm just gonna scroll through. You can just click on any of these cards. It will just take you to the right frame. You can listen to the audio and then you can look at the drill, which are just step-by-step -step instructions, which uh, show you what to do, uh, you know, to improve your uh, mistake. So now I'm going to scroll down and to figure out where we have our drill. As you can see here, uh, you can leave audio message in your language, in different language. You can also type in using different uh, languages, language fonts. Um, like this is uh, the feedback that we offer right now. I click on this and, and the player gets an immediate notification through the phone, which means you are engaging with the player in, in 
in times that are not typically you're engaging with them. So usually you engage with them during the training session, but now you're training or engaging with them offline away from the session, letting the player know like these are things that they can work on. And, and now the player has this uh, in his brain that I'm doing this because my coach observed and dropped me a feedback on Ludimus. And he also gave me these drills to work on. I'm going to work on the drills from my home with my friends, with my parents, or in the next session that I'm training. So you are changing or you're bringing the responsibility towards the players themselves. And they're now consciously aware of which areas that they should work on. So all of this feedback, this is what I told you. This, this is happening right now in terms of pen and paper or spreadsheets or whatever tools that you can imagine of. But now this is available in one central place. Uh, if you have two coaches, they can look at the same video and they can offer feedback. So everything is documented here. Even if you, after a year, if you wanna come back to this particular date, you can come back, you open the video and you see exactly what was shared between you and your coach uh, a year before and, and what was the development look like. So this is the whole idea of Ludimus, just to give a simple means for them to work with a single source of truth where coaches, parents, player can collaboratively uh, work towards the common betterment of uh, players, teams, so that they can become champions. They can uh, go on to win tournaments and uh, conquer different heights uh, in, in with whatever league that they actually play. And finally, like drills, drills are the, the integral part of Ludimus. Drills can be per club or can be just public drills coming from our uh, platform. So even as a single player, if you're just you know, looking for drills that's gonna help you out to become better players, you can just log in, look at all the drills and then try one or two or three on a weekly or a daily basis so that you will see marginal gains uh, over short periods of time, which would help you to improve or, uh, in, in the long term. It's the first time I've seen it like live like this, you know, the actual way it works and it's amazing. I like I say, speaking to other coaches and hearing about it, to actually see it there like that, it's really cool and it really uses the modern technology, the way the world is now, the use of modern technology is really important in all aspects yeah. of life and same with coaching now. So as a player and as a coach, that's and as a parent, it's got so many benefits, as you're saying, you know, ways that you can interact outside of a coaching session. So when we were younger, it was just, you'd get that hour or two hours down at the nets. You would work with a coach or your parent yeah. at that time. And then you couldn't really analyze things, you know, with this, you can actually analyze it anytime you like. And you yeah. can interact with your teammates, as you're saying, that's amazing as well. So helping your teammates out as well. There's things in each other's games that we see. Like I remember when I was younger, you would ask your, if you're down the nets with your frame playing and like you keep getting bowled out, you would ask him, what am I doing on my feet? And you know, yeah. and you can actually analyze it on the video together. It's like a, a amazing platform, really, really impressive what you created and really wish you good luck with it. And definitely I'd recommend all coaches out there and players and parents to use this product. It really will help people to enhance their games. So something else we we're talking about as well is that you have some amazing opportunities available at the moment in terms of partnership and investments. If you'd like to tell the viewers a little bit more about that. Yes, definitely. So what I showed here is just a glimpse of what we have to offer, just the tip of the iceberg. So when we talk about cricket, uh, it's, it's a really unique sport in that it has several aspects and each aspect needs special attention and care. So, uh, so that we need to build out features sets and functionalities so that we can support clubs, parents and players and coaches with all the right tools. For example, uh, we are now going to work on managing player availabilities, attendances, uh, booking and payments through the app. We're going to work on improving the analysis uh, uh, features of videos with more drawing tools and more analysis tools. We're also going to integrate with other uh, platforms like uh, scoring platforms and match analysis platforms to bring in the match data into, uh, your, uh, into Ludimus so that you can compare your training with the match performances as well. So these are some sort of uh, roadmap that we have and to build and grow this particular roadmap and maintain it, we are looking for uh, help in three areas. So the first, areas, first area is that we are looking for people that can assist us in building it. So they could be in terms of developers, it could be product owners, could be managers who like the product, who would like to bring change 
in, in cricket training landscape at a mass level, at a mass level. So the second area we're looking uh, for support and assistance is funding, so capital. So to, to hire people and to keep developing the product, uh, we need fund to uh, do that. If you are someone that's looking to invest in a high tech and high growth potential startup then Ludimus is looking for you. And the third uh, is partnerships. So if there is a company like a scoring provider or anybody else that think they can add value to a platform by integrating with us or working with us, then we are so happy to hear from you and so happy to uh, work together with you. Amazing, amazing. Really great product and really wish you good luck with it. I'm sure it's going to be very successful. It's really going to help coaches, players, all around the world and really well done on producing such a great product. You're out there in Europe right now, as I was saying in Holland, how is cricket there? How is it progressing? Yes, so Holland has a really rich history when it comes to cricket. They are playing cricket for more than 100 years. Um, they have been in a couple of World Cup and cricket is it's not really famous, but it's gaining some momentum. I think more than 8,000 players, uh, close to 10,000 players are playing the sport in, in general. Uh, there's been a lot of activities happening in terms of, uh, you know, promoting the sport itself. And not only in the Netherlands, but also across Europe, there's been several activities that are happening in the last few years. And also with introduction of platforms like Ludimus, it makes it easier for any club or any kind of uh, cricket organization to access the right coaching needs or the right coaches or to have the right support they need in order to improve their players and, and, and improve the, the club as a whole, right? So, so with that, and with all the efforts that ICC is putting in towards promoting the game from a very young age, I think the future is extremely, extremely good uh, for cricket, uh, given that we are, there's a possibility that cricket may be in Olympics by 2028, and, uh, and, and that will bring a huge boost to the sport itself. A lot of visibility and a lot of enthusiasm should come over if that, if and when that happens. So all in all, this is a huge uh, market and the sport is going to grow from now onwards. So uh, I see a huge growth potential here. Yeah, that's amazing. So like, you have the, like, for example, here we have club cricket and then, you know, you have the under 11s, the 13s and the 15s you have a similar structure building over there now as well yeah so uh if you talk about netherlands in particular uh so there are several leagues that we play i think from the top league until division eight or division nine and if you look at the top five leagues and there are always clubs that have all these different categories of players there are there are of course clubs that have only one main team which plays for fun and mainly consists of expats coming from Asian subcontinent or from South Africa or from Australia. Uh, but there are some really uh, uh, top class clubs that spend and invest in, in creating that next generation of superstars and talent groups. So we have clubs in our club, we have from under nines until under 18s, we have a team with a local club, they are combining both the, the women's team that we have, both women that they have into one women's team uh, as, as, uh, as a collaborative effort. So yes, uh, it's happening. Similar structure exists, not to the extent like it's happening in UK or so, but uh, it's growing on a, on a yearly basis. So if you look at the number of clubs that have more than two teams last year, and if you compare that with the coming year, you will be surprised that they are, go they are going uh, significantly higher. And it's all due to the efforts of uh, the local associations and their initiatives. That's amazing. That's really important because that's where we'll get the cricket growing around the world through the grassroots, you know, getting the kids yeah. playing. And yeah, it's really good. So really happy to hear that things are progressing in terms of cricket around Holland and Europe. So I wanted to ask you yourself about how you first got into cricket. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. I come from South India. So cricket is, uh, is, is a part of my life. Uh, the one thing that I can remember from my childhood days is just playing cricket in the streets, uh, waking up 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning just to go and play tournaments in, you know, uh, in any grounds that we can find close by our house with my team. So cricket is, is a part of me. Uh, my ambition was to uh, play for uh, India back then. Unfortunately, there's more than a billion people with the same ambition. So it, it's, it's a highly competitive environment for me to, you know, uh, to, to, to move in that particular direction. So I chose studies uh, instead of that. I continued playing cricket without stopping it. I think 
the first thing that I did after landing in the Netherlands or even before coming here is to already find a club where I can play cricket. Like I didn't, I didn't even worry about like where I can buy food, where I can do some groceries or, or this and that. The first thing I did is like, okay, find a, a club which was uh, 30 minutes, which still like uh, 60, 70 kilometers away from where I was studying. But I signed up and every week I used to travel like two, two times, like 70 kilometers away to just train and play cricket. So that's like a part of me. And um, I think what happened is uh, when I was in 2018, my cricket performance was extremely bad. So I was averaging eight after eight games and I was really in a bad shape in terms of, you know, I was even considering, should I play cricket? Am I enjoying the sport uh, as I used to enjoy in the past? So it was at that point I was introduced to video analysis. And from there, I went on to, uh, to identify the several problems that cricket has faced and that led me on this path of building a platform basically to assist uh, everyone like me who does not have the right access who does not have the right support but who has ambition to still play cricket and even learn when they are 30 35 40 you still have something to learn from cricket and ludimus is for all these people who have that passion to uh, you know improve the skills by even one person amazing really amazing so I was just going to ask you about the current series that's coming up in the next few days. It's starting on Friday. It's India versus England. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? India have been playing really well recently. We saw they won out in Australia. Great performance out there to beat Australia in Australia with so many injuries. Missing the captain, Virat Kohli as well. So he's back now for this one. And England are coming over to play there. They've played well recently. They beat Sri Lanka 2-0 in Sri Lanka. So it should be a competitive yeah. series. Looking forward to it. What's your thoughts on it? I think it's going to be an amazing series, uh, especially now that the expectations are so high after beating Australia in Australia. So uh, the, the, the series is going to be absolutely uh, thrilling and it's going to be entertaining for sure. Indian team is back with full capacity uh, and, and, and Virat is back as well in his, in his post. So I think the key here is to, um, especially for the Indian team is to reset. Like every series, every day, every game, you have to go back to the origin, start everything from zero, and then from there, start building everything. So I think that's going to be the key. Like, how are you going to reset yourself and start, you know, taking that on that test match uh, uh, and also on that session? Um, I think, yeah, that's the thing. And England, they, they won in Sri Lanka, quite similar conditions. They're playing the first test match in Chennai, or, uh, Chennai where I come from. So the, the situations are quite comparable to Sri Lanka. So they're used to, uh, you know, the conditions. And, and Joe Root is in absolute form. So uh, it's going to be a great contest. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that, really. Yeah. yeah. So really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on. And we hope to have you back on again soon. We're looking forward to the cricket seasons coming up soon, you know. So hopefully we'll be out there playing and then people will be using this app and getting great results, improving their game. And thanks for coming on once again. I mean, it's my pleasure uh, talking about Ludi much, man. Have a good day. Thank you. So please, for my viewers, remember to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.